want to track the component in the dynamic component allocation that means when you press back in the browser it should go back to the previous component not to the previous page or something like that or it shouldn't load the default component we'll discuss that but after the intro Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So on today's video, we will see how you can track your component in the dynamic component allocation. That means when you press back or forward, it should go according to the component allocated to the ng container and if you don't know what is a dynamic component allocation and how to do that in angular i have a video i will link it here you can go and watch that one so on this video you can see i just created a simple angular application and a extra component as home where you're gonna add the the dynamic component to it and we'll see how we can get track of that so for that what we are going to do in this video that can be accomplished by two three way but what i'm explaining is best according to me and the easier also so before jumping to the solution i want to explain you know, what is the fragment means because we are going to use that one to track our objects okay so you already know what is the activate route if you don't know what is the activate route and how to get the params from the router i have a video I will link it there and you can go and watch that one so here we are using the same activate route and from that route you are subscribing to the fragment observable and you are logging that one in the console so if i go to the uh, browser you can see it's saying fragment is null so what the fragment is you may have seen in a lot of places okay so i will write uh, a fun of heuristic uh, you may have seen like hashtag fun of heuristic so if you press enter now it's saying fragment is hashtag fun of heuristic so that means whatever you are given up to the hash that will be cached as a fragment but it should be in the end of the url that means uh, towards the end of the url okay that's basically fragment means and this is how you're gonna catch that fragment and how you're gonna save this to your code so what I'm going to do now, I will create two, three components and I try to link that component in the you know, home component so that I we can load it dynamically. And I'm going to speed up the video now. So uh, be with me. Perfect. So you can see I created three component one two three and uh, given to given that is a dynamic component and for now I am assigning the first dynamic component as a one component one mean the first component and I am rendering that dynamic component here and some CSS to make this button align or horizontally. I will not do any fancy stuff I will just go to the point so here what we will do we will remove the stuff because not implement now we start implementing our code okay so if you go to the home component okay so in that so we need to get track of our component from the fragments okay like i created here so we will create a frag 
fragment uh, fragment uh, column fragment variable and we'll give that uh, just string for now okay and that fragment we can assign it here and according to the fragment okay so i'm currently i know i have three components okay so i'll go with that so i will check if this dot fragment so here what i'm doing is i'm checking one two three component so if you go i will i will do try to do it manually so if i go to two you'll see it's came to two works okay then if i go to three so now it's three work now if you can see if you hit back you can see two works you can see forward then you see three works okay as you can see I, i'm clicking on the button nothing is working so that just going, going, going to implement here for that what you have to do is uh, give a router link okay uh, the router link the trick here is give that as empty so why i'm saying give router link as a blank because fragment is a property of router link so if you want to use fragment in the html you have to use router link and give you blank means it will stay in the same page but it will use the fragment so we will go ahead and give the uh, fragment okay and we'll give it as a one and we'll check that that is working or not we'll go to once you get refresh we'll click here okay one is working so we'll copy this link copy does not copy the router link and paste it here okay so we'll change this to two and three now as you can see that work is completed so if you go here uh two is working three is working uh, one two three uh, so this is as a normal dynamic component allocation okay so now i will try to just keep a keep an eye on this okay so if i'm hitting back it's two working this three then i can so now you can track the component like this In, instead of using the fragment you can use the direct router as well so that's also an option and the dynamic component allocation is used when you need some uh, multiple component inside your main component so that is a subcategory of a main component that's why i thought using a fragments is a good option so that's it for today guys today we saw how you're gonna track our component in the dynamic component allocation so that on the pressing of back or forward button in the browser we can uh, go back and forward in our dynamic component as well so please like the video if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please share the video among your friend give some valuable comment in the comment section below we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye